Hey guys, today we'll learn about animation in Blender. First, I'll show you how to keyframe, which is basically assigning two time slots for an object to go from one to another and change its location, rotation, or scale. If you want to know the location, rotation, and scale of the object, you can press N and in item tab, you'll see its location, rotation, and scale. That's quite important, because for instance, if we move it, G, Y, its location on Y axis will change. Similarly, if we rotate it on Z, R, Z, we can see that this number changed. Let's cancel that. Now, in order to animate, Let's quickly go to Animation tab for it to be easier. Then again, if you have some additional windows here, you can just hover your mouse over the edge, right click and say Join Areas to join something like that. And then let's say Horizontal Split and return to Timeline here. That's all we need. Timeline and this original window, which is 3D viewport. So what we need is to go from frame one to frame 50, which is basically different times, and see if we can move our object from, let's say, this position to somewhere here, right? For that, we need the location on X axis. Let's bring our panel and on X. So what we could do is either press I and insert keyframe on location like that. This way it will keyframe, which is basically remembering the position on each of the axes. And if we want is to just remember the X axis, then let's cancel it and hover our mouse over X and then right click, insert single keyframe, and it will just remember the X location. So what we are doing next is going to frame, let's say 50, and we can move it by, let's say two meters, either by pressing G, X, two, like that, or just by pressing two here, and then again, right click, insert single keyframe and that way magic happens it moved if we press play we'll see that it slowly moves from one place to another and if we wanted to go back we can select just these keyframes so you see that they became yellow and these didn't and then shift d to duplicate and put them here so what happens now is that it goes to one direction and then to the other, like that. Okay, and then if we want it to be not two meters, but let's say 10, we can press 10 and then replace single keyframe. Now we can see that it moved here, like that. One more thing you need to know is that when the action happens, it doesn't always happen the same way. So for instance, here, if we press A to select all and right click, we can see interpolation mode. If we check the animation now, you can see that it slowly starts and then it kind of slows down before coming to this point. But if we change the interpolation mode to linear, we'll see that it has the same speed throughout all the animation. If we wanted to change how our animation looks, we can split the window and go into graph editor. Okay, now let's quickly close this one, close this one, and then under view, let's say frame all. 
So here, you'll be able to see three points. This is our location of the object on the x-axis. And if we select all here and then interpolation mode, and then set interpolation mode to Bezier, you'll have these handles here, which will allow you to change the action. If we make it to something like that, it will move from one point to another more gradually. So first slowly, then rapidly, then it will slow down again. And you can see it on the animation here. So this basically creates a more interesting looking animation and sometimes more realistic looking as well. Again, if we wanted to change something other than X location, but for instance, rotation as well, we can insert keyframe. Let's do it the other way. I, rotation, and then on the 50 frame, let's change Z rotation to 360 and insert single keyframe. And now you'll see that it rotates and then goes back. And if you just wanted to, for instance, turn 360 degrees, you can delete the X location here. Just this one, delete. And it will just rotate. And then if we end the animation at 49, as we don't want the first and last shot to repeat, let's see how it looks. Yeah. And then again, it slows down. So if you don't want it to, select all, right click, interpolation mode, linear. And now it should be consistent. So for instance, if you post on Instagram or anything, you might want something like this, right? To show that you created a 3D model, which is pretty cool. So you should definitely do that. If you wanted to turn more gradually, instead of 50, let's do like 99 frames. And this one we can move here and see it turns slowly. Something like that. Hope it was useful. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll create one more video for what is called shape keys animation. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorials.